A violent robber should have been behind bars facing life in prison. Instead, he was working at the State Fair of Texas. Mario Martin is a habitual criminal. He's been to prison twice, once for burglary and evading arrest in 2011. He was released, then arrested again in 2017 for robbing a gas station. He got eight years in prison, but again was released. While on parole, he robbed a family dollar store in 2023. According to an arrest affidavit, Martin was wearing a mask and gloves and armed with a handgun and a hammer. He told everyone in the store not to move and took money from the cash register and safe. Because this was his third violent crime, he faced life in prison. But instead, the prosecutor in the case offered him five years deferred probation. So he was set free again. I need to speak for my detectives. They don't have a voice. Um, and I, I know the work that goes in to solving these cases um, and then for an individual to not be held accountable, particularly with the history that this individual has, um, is incredibly frustrating to the men and women. Dallas police say while Martin was on probation on October 8th, he and another man robbed two family dollar stores in South Dallas. You know, this individual was given more opportunities than the victims were given, uh, commits more robberies after he's committed robberies. The State Fair of Texas head of security told us vendors are required to run background checks, so it's unclear how Martin was working in one of the booths. The Dallas District Attorney issued a statement saying, in hindsight, it is clear this situation could have been managed better, and I take responsibility as the leader of this office. While we strive for perfection with 60,000 cases passing through our system each year, mistakes can happen, but we are committed to learning from them. Police say they hope this time around Martin stays behind bars for good. In Dallas, I'm Rebecca Lopez.